Hi guys, welcome to the Desert Golf Academy. We're going to be doing a little bit of ball testing today for you. Seeing which ball actually performs the best. Yeah, and the differences that you will get in different golf balls. Okay, we're going to be using TrackMan 4 today. And I'm going to be your tester. Okay, let's see what happens. First up is going to be the Callaway Warbird, which is a hard golf ball. We're going to hit 10 shots with each ball and then we're going to you're going to see the results at the end of the day sometimes we can maybe help you get more out of your golf ball than we can do out of your own golf club so we are back in the studio i've had a chance to kind of go through all the results as you can see in this first slide here the strixon range ball the purple one definitely flying quite a bit lower yeah um, the other thing you'll see in a few of the other slides, I've provided kind of some of the other data. Uh, the range ball seems to be flying a little bit more left, I would notice. This comes due to the construction of the golf balls and how they're actually built. Uh, the one thing you'll see in top, range, or top premium golf balls is the construction. It's very consistent. You get one and then the next one is the same. Sometimes when you have the lower grade golf balls, you will find that you play one and it seems okay, then you take it out the next day and it, it you try another one and it seems different. So anyway, there's lots of difference as far as the construction goes on how they are made and the quality control. Um, seeing some of the other dis differences, you know, um, I'm going to show you some other slides here. I've kind of recapped everything and to show you the difference. And with the 7-iron, there's not a lot of difference, I'm finding, between the high-end golf balls in the lower one. Uh, you'll see that the TaylorMade TP5, it flew about the furthest at 177.2. Uh, granting that, you know, I kept my swing speed. I'm not in mid-season form, but I kept it within about 0.5 of a mile an hour as far as club head speed. You can see the gatherings here going through. They are pretty tight, so there's not a lot of mishits going on there. I'd say it's more the construction of the golf balls. So the TaylorMade TP5 was in first place on total distance. Um, as far as the net difference went, though, we saw the Pinnacle Rush come through in first place, where I measured the total dif distance minus the carry, and it came up at 7.9, so that was the leader on that side of it. So, yeah. A little bit astonished as far as uh, the spin rates and everything went and the pinnacle rush was also tied for first on total spin rate with 54.83 also with the callaway warbird which is considered a kind of a distance ball um yeah so i'm quite astonished with that well i hope you've enjoyed our first test here uh it's been very interesting to do this for you it's something that we want to provide a lot more content as far as testing yeah golf balls golf clubs drivers shafts and and anything that you might have interest uh just send us a line and we would love to test it out for you uh it's a lot of fun to do it it's something that i really enjoy and i will have my number one tester for the wedge play coming up soon so thanks again for listening and if you can subscribe to it so we want to provide a lot more content in the future Okay, thanks again. Bye.